Hey guys, welcome back to Spectra Creative. I'm your host, Scott Toy Guru Knight. Like now, I'm usually shy away from doing videos about videos, but in this case, well, a lot of people have been questioning the video I put up about Motu ending at retail in 2023 and basically fans saying, okay, well, prove it. Now, the thing is, this isn't the first time I've done a video about a toy line ending. In fact, I do lots of videos about toy lines ending. And believe me, it's equal just as much over Hasbro, Mattel, Spin Master. I'm an all toy fan. And the reason I report on toy lines ending is because it's, well, it's part of the collector hobby. But for some reason, talking about Masters of the Universe ending, unlike, you know, any of the many, many other videos I've done on other brands ending, this one seems to have striked a chord. Struck a chord? Struck a chord. Not striked a chord. Struck a chord. I can speak English. So what is it? Why is this video, you know, so much different from all other videos? Is it because I require you to eat matzah while watching it? Heck no. There's a lot going on here, and I kind of want to unpack this because, well, it's important to the hobby. And really what it comes down to is the CGI effect. I'm sorry, not the CGI effect, the CSI effect. There we go, that's the right one. What is the CSI effect and what the world does it have to do with toys? Well, this is an actual thing. There's a lot of CSI shows out there, right? Every major city gets one. I think they even have a CSI for holidays. I can't wait for CSI Arbor Day to come out where they investigate the trees. Well, the CSI effect is the idea that Within one hour, the, the police on the show and everyone can just wrap everything up neatly. Even though there may be overwhelming evidence, it's the idea that people won't believe it anymore unless there's you know DNA or, or, a, or a photo of the person committing the crime. This is, this is what the CSI effect is. And it's actually a major problem, especially with the jury system, because it's gotten people to the point that they don't believe something, even when it's right in front of you. Because, well, on CSI, you know, they have a crime scene and they have DNA and they, they always, you know, they, or they have a video of the person doing it. And that's not the way the world works. You have to actually think and process things and come to your own conclusion. And what I kind of see happening is the fact that I've worked on Masters of the Universe, I love the brand very much so to the point that I rearranged my entire life to, to work on the brand and, you know, did the job on top of my other job. Well, besides that fact of my personal involvement, there's kind of what's actually happening in the toy aisle. I mean, the He-Man Masters of the Universe brand has gone on sale and clearance more than pretty much any other brand in the last two years. And I know because I, this is my job. This is what I do. I'm a toy consultant. We've also seen things like Masters of the Universe figures shipping to the Mattel toy store when they couldn't find any other home for it because retailers wouldn't take it. All of these things add up. If you look at the size of the Masters of the Universe spot on the planogram a year ago, they had about four feet. Now they have about one foot. So it doesn't take the world's greatest detective to actually put these pieces together. When I make videos talking about these kind of things, people expecting a smoking gun or, you know, the knife sticking out of the corpse, if you will, that's not the way the real world works. That's the CSI effect when there's, you know, a clear, specific, dedicated answer. In the real world, we actually have to think about things and process things and, and use the evidence that we see in front of us. Basically, you know, look, use your eyes. Do you see a toy line going on clearance way more than any other? What does your brain think about all this? It's basically that simple, brain and eyeballs. And when those come together, well, we hopefully avoid jumping to conclusions and making up our own assessments because we're waiting for this CSI perfect sign something that's going to make it so super clear how things work. And those kind of signs don't always work. And yes, I could very much wind up with egg on my face over this whole thing because, hey, I've been wrong many, many times. But this isn't the first time I've done a video about a toy line ending. It is the first time I've done a video about a toy line ending where, uh, well, honestly, there's been a lot of overwhelming emotion about it, good and bad. But... Sometimes, you know, like this Ghostbuster video, I said, the line went away and no one even noticed or talked about it. I mean, obviously some Ghostbuster fans did. So, as far as proving it, well, 
there, there you go. How is that? How how is that not proving it? Just the fact that this brand has gone on sale so much and the retail space has shrunk. If you want a direct answer, you can call up. You know the, the manufacturers. Call Mattel. Call Universal. Call Hasbro. Ask them what's going on with your brands. But a lot of those of us in the collector community tend to have a bit of a cognitive dissonance issue, and we don't want to hear the truth, even though it might actually well be correct. It's it's like learning that your you know a world major religion is based on historical lies, if you will, or or facts that didn't happen. So you know, but you're so deep into that religion or that belief system that you just don't want to hear it at all, even if someone comes to you with you know. CSI-esque evidence. And it's not like Master of the Universe is over. We still have Eternia coming from Mattel Creations. In fact, Mattel Creations has already been tested as a way of distributing product directly to collectors, which is where Masters of the Universe does best, when it's a collector-only brand, because it's adults that grew up with it. So yeah, there are figures coming out online. The best thing we can all do, and I've said this so many times, is get Masters of the Universe toys into the hands of kids. If you want the line to be at retail and to be huge again, that's the key. If you want a collector line sold online with lots of characters, that's awesome too. But it's not really compatible with the needs of retail. All right, I hope this video addressed people's concerns about, you know, how much you have to uh, prove things when they've sort of already been proven right in front of you. Not being negative, just trying to kind of shed a little light. I hope this video was at least a little enjoyable and tried to be a little humorous as well. Thanks for watching, thanks for sharing, and I'll see you guys next time.